All right, it's Monday afternoon, the audible time here in the bubble again to get caught up on what's going on. John Conjemi joining me as he does every Monday, and John, it's uh, it's, it's it's kind of <laughs> it's nice to have a long week here. Oh, it was great, long week, but not to stew over that game on last Thursday. Did, I forgot we even played I know, on I know. Thursday. Look, I'm, I'm, like... I'm, I'm calling that last week, and let's move on to this yes, week and, uh, and get things headed in the right direction. I think that's exactly uh, what this football team's doing, John. Uh, Dolphins had the players had four days off. They're off today. They'll get back to work tomorrow. Some coaches had a couple days off, and uh, with no bye week, John, I, I think that's the perfect thing to do. Give themselves a, a semblance of a bye week. Give them some time off to to heal up a little bit and kind of put the past behind them, and, and come back kind of geared up and ready to get the season started. The second half of the season started. They the Oakland Raiders uh, on Monday or on Sunday night. That'll be game number eight. After that, then comes the the remainder of the season. Well, there'll be really. Uh, no time off after that. Just go through, go for a run. Um, but John, it's, it's kind of one of those things that you want to you want to get past that. But they're going to have to come back here and watch that tape. They're going to have to come back and, and figure it out. And you know, if you if you heard Adam Gaze uh, speak over the weekend, wasn't happy. Not not real happy with what went on. You know, calling out his guys to, to do a little more work out there. And uh, and look, I, I think I think when you look for responsibility in this team, it certainly starts at the top, goes all the way to the last guy on that roster. And, and everyone that works with this football team, uh, assistant coaches, trainers, everybody getting guys ready. Everybody's got a hand in that thing that they've got to deal with, and they've got to sort it out the best way possible. Well, Bo, I think there's a lot of thumbs in, instead yes. of index fingers. Yep. You know, I, I think everybody can look in the mirror and find a way to get better. And yep. I think this, this should prove as a midway point uh, of the season. You're not going to have a bye week. You're four and three, and you haven't been close to playing your best yep. football on the offensive side. Now, that doesn't mean the defense hasn't played well yep. in certain stretches. They have, and they can only hold up for a certain amount at that level yep. where you we have to have some – some point support. You have yep. to be able to have some touchdowns on offense. You have to be able to make your defense play with a lead. You have to make them feel a little bit more comfortable as the second half of the season yep. moves along. So I think there are a lot of things that Adam Gase wants to look at offensively, scheme-wise, play-calling-wise. Uh, do I have the right people in the right positions mm -hmm. going forward? And I think this weekend was a good uh, get away from the facility, get away from football for the guys yep. and for the coaches, for, for the assistant coaches to, to rethink and kind of rejuvenate how they're going to attack the Oakland Raiders on Sunday night, how they're going to attack the Carolina Panthers on Monday night football, yep. how they're going to move through the stretch of playing New England twice and Buffalo twice, who are turn well, out to and, be and, a very and, good and, football and don't team. don't look now, but Buffalo, I mean, playing some very good football. They took yes. care of Oakland with uh, with no problem uh, yesterday. Exactly. And, uh, and so they're, they're another team to, to deal with. We all know what New England's all about. So, yeah, they've got their hands full going through it. But I think you're right, John. It's about self-evaluation at this point. It, and typically, when it, whether it's a bye week or you've got a Thursday night game where you've got days off, uh, it's usually a time where the coaches do a little self-scouting too. Sure. Kind of look at what they're doing. Like, look, let's break down our how, game. How simplistic let's, let's are we on our offense? Game. Right. Let's see what we're seeing and, and then make some adjustments on, on that. So, uh, but, but I think, you know, when the players come back tomorrow, uh, I think there's going to be a pretty good heart-to-heart -heart in that meeting room with the entire team about who do we want to be. Uh, and just kind of what you said, look, every guy sitting in, look, I'm sure Adam Gibbs said, look, I've got to look at myself. Right. Everybody sitting in that auditorium has to take a look at themselves and see if they're doing everything they can to help you win football games. If not, then they've got to ask themselves why. Why? And how That's do right. I get to that point where I'm helping us win football games rather than lose football games? And I said this after the, uh, the brief post-game show I was able to do on Thursday night uh, was that, hey, look, it, 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 was a, it was a horrendous loss. The numbers were, were lopsided. But when you look where you're at right now, you're still four and three. That's right. You're still right in the thick of the hunt, both for the AFC East as well as a playoff berth. So no use getting bogged down. And Everything's this right out in front of the exactly. Miami Dolphins. Yep. As poorly as a team that they've played in certain games. Now, it doesn't mean all seven games have been that bad, yep. but there have been stretches where the offense needs to improve, obviously. You can't go, you know, shut out play shutout football on offense in the National Football League and expect to be a playoff team. Yeah. So that has to improve. But where they are right now, they still have the roadmap to get to where they want to be at yep. the end of the year. But this thing needs to turn around quickly. It can't be a, a three- or four-week uh, massage deal where you're getting better but you're still not yep. there. They have to get better. They have to play better. And they have to start dominating some teams that aren't as good on paper as we thought they were in the beginning of the season, and they have to go ahead and improve themselves first and foremost. Yeah, and, John, you look at, I mean, they're pretty unique situation for the Dolphins. They have the Thursday night game 
uh, and then they come back for another primetime game Sunday against the Raiders, then go on the road to Carolina for a third tr- straight right. primetime game. And I don't think in my career I ever played in three straight primetime games, and I, don't, I can't remember the last time that I've seen a team play in three straight prime primetime games. I'm sure it's happened, but I can't recall it. So it's kind of a unique situation for this football team. And, for, and, 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 and speaking of those, those situations, a primetime game, you know, you kind of embarrass yourself in front of the whole nation on Thursday night. Now you got two primetime games to say, "Hey, look that that was the aberration." This here's is, reality. This, this is what is we what really we are, do, yeah. and this is this is where we're at. Um, because you certainly don't want to, you don't want that that thought of what this football team to linger. Because I think you, you hear that. Look, as much as guys say, we don't hear what people say. We don't hear what they people hear say. it. They hear everything people say. That's right. Says, and if you don't turn it around, those kind of losses and that kind of feeling tends to fester on a football team, and, and we just hope that this is a team that doesn't allow that to creep into their psyche and, and turn them into that type of football team. Well, you know that, but you feel it as a football yeah. team. You know, you know how you play. You're the, fir- you're the worst critic, I believe, on your, on your character and, and what you put on film. Yeah. You watch yourself, and if you've played poorly, you know it. If yeah. you played well, you know it, but you don't want to let anybody else know it. You want to go out and repeat it and do yeah. it again. So this is a team that has a lot of proud individuals in that locker room that have played winning football, that have been on a team that went to the playoffs last year. There's a lot of nucleus on this in in this locker room that knows what it feels like to to achieve where they yeah. want to go, and they want to get there again. And if they're going to do that, they vastly have to improve yeah. their consistency of play. They have to be able to to win at least one side of the line of scrimmage and be close on the other. You know, you have to be able to to win on 50-50 opportunities down the field. Now, whether Devonte Parker is a guy that rejuvenates the passing game because he's healthy now and can come back and make some plays for this offense, whether Jay Cutler is going to be healthy enough to stand in and throw the football down the field and and find some consistency in the passing game. Or, you know, there's a lot of things that need to improve, and there's a lot of question marks that need to be answered quickly in this week. Yeah, the one thing about about football, whether it was at the high school level, maybe not – High school level, some high schools didn't have the, the the facilities, but college and the pros, you know, there's that old line, the eye in the sky don't lie. No. You know, and, and there's a lot of, you know, look, everyone's writing this, everyone's tweeting this, everyone's putting this on Facebook and that's on Facebook, and, and all the reporters, you know, what they say is bullshit. What, yeah. what they say is what their opinion, this and that, I'm going to throw shit on the table and this and that. But those guys, when they walk in that room, that they know, room, and they watch that tape, it may not feel good. But and I but I guarantee you, if those guys are invested in this game, they know every mistake they made. And know when it's before, coming up before they go, and they know exactly <laughs> they know, when it's coming up to see. Coming. And so those coaches and the coaches get pretty hard on you in those situations. But you really don't have any argument because it's right there on tape for you to see. You don't believe me? You tell me. You, you tell me this is the best job you can do right here. You tell me that, and and I'll I'll give I'll give up my job right now. Right. Because it's not. Right. And then there's no way to. You you can't just you can't. You can't get away from a, from the eye in the sky, and it's it's been like that forever. For you know, it's funny, Bo. I can remember back watching tape, and uh, you know, you throw a bad interception, or you yep. make a bad decision. You know, it's coming up. Yeah. And you're always harder on yourself yep. than maybe the the coach could ever be because you know when you make yep. a mistake, and you just got to own up to it. You have to own up to it. You have to learn from it. And you have to move on from it. it. It can't fester. The only way it can fester is if, if it, if it doesn't affect you, you shouldn't be in that room yeah. anyway, but if it builds up inside of you, you got to go back out and wait for your next opportunity to prove yourself worthy of being a, a starter and worthy of yeah. being that guy to make those plays. It's funny you say that. Cause I can remember guys and, and these are guys you don't really want on your team. I, I can remember, I, I remember being in a meeting room one time and, and we had a, a defensive end, who just played a horrendous game. I mean a horrendous game. Go inside, I, he goes I was, outside. Go I was, outside, I was go embarrassed inside. for him. Right. I'm watching the tape, and I'm bar- embarrassed right. for him. You know, going, man, I, 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 I don't want to be him. I wouldn't want to be sitting through <laughs> But But so there, at one point in the play, at one point during the game, though, you know, he threw an arm over on the guy, reached back and dropped the guy for like a five-yard loss, right? The one play. Exactly. Everything else was, was crap, was bad. right? And I remember, I remember after the, after the, the film room, we're walking in to go to the bathroom, and he's walking in behind me with his buddy, and the guy goes, hey, man, see that, that play? Was, that was a play you made. He goes, yeah, man, I kicked that ass. And I'm thinking, those are the guys I'm playing with right now. Wait a minute. Those what about are the, the guys 46 are, yeah, other what about, plays exactly. you made? What about, the, what about every other play you got? I mean, first of all, you got your ass chewed by the coach nonstop right. for two hours on this thing. You're, you wish and, you had the authority. You, came, you know what? Get out of here. You Take, came, go I, pack your stuff and get out of here. You walked out of that saying how well you played because of one play? Oh, my God. It was, it's yeah. brutal. Those, yeah. those those types of meetings are brutal, but uh, I, I think they're reality checks too. No, no you doubt. know, you go in yeah. and you know that there's fixable 
items yeah. Yeah. Uh, that the Miami Dolphins on certain mistakes you're making offensively. So th- the good thing is there there are it's it's not effort. I, I haven't no, seen a no, team no. Uh, lack the effort. It's Look, execution. I, I would say this though, John, on Thursday I saw a tired football team. I, we, I, yeah, we were much. There, we looked like we yes. played three football games. It doesn't mean the effort wasn't week. there. It just meant no, they were you beat know, up. You know, you know, instead of getting in front of the guy to make a tackle, you kind of throw the arm. That was out a there. physical game we played against the Jets. Yeah, it no was doubt. a hard-fought yeah. victory, and it wore on our. It wore on the Miami Dolphins yeah. more than the Ravens losing on the road. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, that and the fact that the Ravens. You know, you, 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 I mean, listen to this stuff while the game's going on. And they were like eight. They're eight and zero now on on in primetime games played at their home stadium, so they're good. And not to mention, and we talked about this before, you know, the Ravens, for whatever reason, match they've, up. Changed, they've changed personnel. Doesn't matter. Guys have come and gone. Ray Lewis isn't there anymore. Yeah. Holly Nott is not there. These guys aren't. But they're still, for whatever they reason, they're just a bad, bad match for the Miami Dolphins and always have been since they've been in existence. I know. It. We, we've we looked our worst, yeah. and, and it doesn't matter what your pick a year yeah. uh, against – against the Baltimore Ravens, yep. and especially when you travel to Baltimore. Yep. It just seems like there's something about it. And there's, I thought last year we did a better job when we visited the Buffalo Bills because yep. that's another building yep. in another place lately. The Miami Dolphins haven't really yep. played well. So uh, the I guess the, the image of the Dolphins with playing against the Ravens up there hasn't changed yep. much, but the Dolphins still have an, an opportunity to change going up to Buffalo. Yep. Uh, let's get some of these questions going here. Periscope, uh, Grizzly Dark. Uh, by the way, the, the, the trading deadline uh, is tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, 4 o'clock. Uh, I, I saw an article today in the paper where the Dolphins may be looking to deal. You know, we'll see when things happen. But uh, Grizzly uh, Dark says, should we trade for Eric Ebron, the tight end out of Detroit? I think he was a first-round draft yeah. pick. Came in with high expectations. Been a disappointment up in Detroit. And, uh, you know, my thought is, you know, disappointment there leads to a disappointment here. Um, and, and I just don't think now is the time to make that make that switch. Although, you know, Julius Thomas could be playing a little better. Uh, or I think we expect I think everyone expected more out of Julius Thomas from what we've seen so far. It doesn't mean that he's not gonna uh, get his game to where it needs to be here over the no, next few weeks. No, you hope that you hope that you improve. Yeah. I think, you know I think Gray needs to play a little bit more. I think yes. we need to see all three tight ends. Well, and look, and look and, you know, they've, they've thrown to Fasano a little more. And I he, like, and Anthony's been play, responding. Yes. Anthony looks like he's 25 years yep. old when he's running around out there, and he's yep. doing a good job blocking. And I, I think you can get more improvement from Thomas, but I think Gray needs to kind of step in and take some of those reps away. Yep. And, you know, the better guys and the guys that are more productive, they have to start playing. Yep. And if you're not getting it done, and you heard Coach Gase talk about it in his last press conference, you know, there might be some guys out there that – we got to reevaluate, yeah. and it might be some of our better players or some of our higher profile yeah. guys. They got to start stepping up. Yeah, you may see some guys that are second or third in the depth chart. Yeah, uh, this this Sunday night, uh, lining up out there and getting in. And Marquis, look, Mark great. He played great last year. Caught a lot of good balls. Made some big plays. So I wouldn't mind seeing him uh, get a little more opportunity. El Chapo Jr. Any word on Kiko? From the league, I think that comes out tomorrow. tomorrow probably, Usually yeah. Tuesday is when that information Chapo comes always out. Firing Chapo's some always balls, getting huh? in there. He always kind of pokes his head out of that I hole know. and throws a good one out there. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see with that because I, I look, you know, I think if you're an offensive, if you if you're a player with an offensive lend uh, lean to you, you kind of say that was a that cheap was a, shot. Well, yeah. As a defensive player, I go, you know what? He was he he, he slid he, late. He, he slid he late. He slid late, and he really didn't slide. He was upright. Well, he. Not only did he slide late, but he was at the at the at the first, first down. down mark. Yeah. So if if there's gonna be, you got to give that defender you got to give the defender a little Pico bit. Pico came of, from a long little, way with yes. a head of speed going, yeah. and, and, and I, I'm not gonna say it wasn't warrant. It didn't yeah. warrant a penalty. It did. It was a it was a it was a really but devastating question, but hit. But the question was was it something that he did intentionally? Right. And, and I don't. I, look, the, you're, the you're, thing I'm questioning, Bo, honestly, as a as a former quarterback yeah. that would have taken that hit, although I probably would have went head first or slid a lot earlier, right? I I think that Kiko did all the right things, but when you lead with your head or you lead with your shoulder with a defenseless player, I think that's where you kind of have to draw the line and say it's definitely a penalty. It's definitely going to get a fine. I didn't think he deserved to get thrown out because of the the situation of where he slid. But, but look, I also believe that, you know, it's it's, you're asking a lot out of a defensive player that's running full speed – that has to make a decision to launch, yep. and say, and then say, well, you got you got to go, but you got to change your direction. You you right. You, you can't. You once once you commit, you've committed. Right. You can't change. Whereas whereas that offensive player, his head can go from here to here. Right. And here maybe no penalty. Here may get you thrown out of the game. Yeah. 
And the only that's thing, a tough. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking of, Bo, is instead of leading with the head or the shoulder, yep. it could have been almost yep. like diving over yes. Flacco was still going through yep. the quarterback. Yep. But that's a tough adjustment yep. to make no in doubt. a split second. Uh, black man game. Uh, when is McDonald, uh, T.J. McDonald, ready to play? Soon. He won't play Sunday against the Raiders, but he's eligible to play the, the next, next week, week. Uh, against Carolina. Uh, he hasn't been – he's been working out. He's been – let me put this right. He's been eligible to work out at the facility without – can't work out with coaches. He or can be out in the field, right? but not on the field with any of the players or right. any of the coaches. So he's been here staying in shape, staying in condition. Now, if that translates into him being eligible to play on uh, a week from Sunday and being able to play on a week from Sunday from a standpoint of being game ready – Time will tell, but you know, especially when you got Nate Allen down with the injury right, right now. Michael Thomas is going to get the start this week. I think uh, I think Allen's out for for some time. I think he did his calf or something like that, uh, which is a tough thing to come back. I think T.J. McDonald plays. If I was a betting man right now, I'd bet a lot of money he's first game play up in Carolina. And, I think and get so ready too. To and I think I think Ted Larson's another guy. Yes. you know that could be eligible, Ted's eligible to come to start back practice. this this he's week. He's eligible to start practicing this week. Right. Yeah. So there's two guys right there that look like to be easy starters if yep. they were both healthy or eligible to play yep. when the season began. Yep. So you're going to gain a starter on defense in the back end, which is valuable depth number one yep. because now you're going to get a guy that has a lot of playing time in Allen backing up in case something happens to either yep. position and you've got a guy that's needed on the offensive yep. line in Ted Larson whether that's this week or they both play on the road on Monday night against Carolina. Yeah, I tell you, I, I've never seen anything like this. You talk about T.J. McDonald. Here's a guy that came in. You knew he was going to have an eight-game suspension coming in. Plays in the preseason. Goes on suspension and they extend his contract <laughs> without him playing in a regular it's season. A, tells you a little bit about what a they think. Good preseason. Tells you a little bit about what they think of uh, T.J. McDonald. No doubt about that. Alright, uh, KC828. Who are you going to be for Halloween? John, who are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know, man. I, I, I have to go get candy, number yeah. one. That's, yeah, that's my that biggest too, yeah. concern. I don't care if I'm dressed up. Let me up. ask you this. When you go get candy, do you get candy you like or candy oh, the candy kids are going to like? There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's well, there's going to be leftovers. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna dress up like Leon. For, uh, for Leon, for, Leon for, or Leon? Just like Leon. For the, Leon, Leon. Well, there's two two different sides, you know. But did you see him today? He's got a new haircut. It's you got to get a well, new kind of do if you're going to dress up like Leon. So he needs to bring, he, he needs to bring a ruler because that <laughs> that thing is like it, well, it's it's, huh? it's kind of on a he's slant. Got a, he got a little Eddie Munster thing there. Yeah, got a little thing. You see that little thing? All he has to do is grow his mustaches <laughs> and just at an angle, he'll be going to get it right. It. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Leon for Halloween. That way I can screw everything up. Right. And not have any, you just know, start hit, just start yeah. hitting buttons. I can do everything wrong all day long, and you just gotta get a pass for it. Well, between you go, oh, yeah, I'm Leon, Leon and, I and Trey. Up, you know? I, I almost mean, said something else, but I, I Trey, didn't. you should seen Trey today. He was all over the road. Today. <laughs> Plus, you can be ugly if you're gonna be Leon. Well, right. Le- if you can dress, you can be. You can be a little bit. You know, some say you, you can look a little homely. Some say you, mo- you don't need a mask. Yeah. Well, I don't know. There you go. You know, some say he was born with a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, he wants us to move on. All right. Oh, uh, wait, what's the next, next question from yeah, Leon? I think this next question <laughs> is from Leon. <laughs> Periscope from Leon. Maybe some Statue of Liberty plays? Statue of Liberty? Huh? What? What do we got? The Galloping Ghost in the backfield or something, on, huh? Man. We got the. What, what are We're we just trying to, to get four, four yards four blocks on a of running gr- play. We got the five blocks of granite or the four <laughs> blocks of granite up front? The Lock four horse. Come on, Leon. You got to do better than that Statue, Statue of Liberty, Liberty plays. play. Come on, man. Go out and play joke. in the street and do that. That McLovin, costume you got, you got. Are you concerned that we haven't had a rushing touchdown all season? Yeah, that does yeah, concern it me. It does concern me because it uh, – first of all, it makes it tough when you get in the red zone. we got to get into the red zone. We, we got to get in the red zone last week at all. Get in the end zone. we got to get in the end zone. But, get. yeah, I, I, I am concerned a little bit about that. Uh, all of our touchdowns have come through the passing game, uh, and you got to be balanced. And I, I don't know – I, I forget what what did Jay have eight eight touchdowns last year or something like that. I can't Saturday? remember last year. I don't know what it was. But, but I will tell you this, Bo: when you're in the red zone, it's a heck of a lot easier to score when you're running the football. Yeah. You know the defense right now they, they know the Miami yeah. Dolphins. You can limit what you're trying to do at the line of scrimmage because you just want to make sure you're backing up and, and covering yeah. you know zones and getting on man to man and making sure the time in the pocket is limited because yeah. the Dolphins can't run it in the red zone. Uh, King Edlin pops in this one now. Jay Cutler, coach. Uh, Coach Gay said the other day that he's definitely going to play on, on Sunday against the Raiders. Uh, and uh, King Edlin asked, how will Cutler sustain playing with cracked ribs? And he puts phone books under the pads. That was, back old, that was old school doing some of those Anything kind of things. you needed. Be, yeah, well, look, that's they've right. Got the, I'm sure he'll be all padded up. And, uh, look, 
there, it's a pain threshold. It's not going to be fun. It, it, it's all about pain threshold. It's all threshold. about pain. Yeah, it, it's 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 one of those things that you got cracked ribs and you've had them. I've had them. Uh, there, there's nothing that's not painful, uh, and particularly when you go to the bathroom, it's very painful yes. you, with, with well, the cracked ribs. It, right, the Leon? Extension of that too is very painful. Look, look, I get you know. I'm just trying to th- I'm just trying to spread some knowledge out here, you know. Well, I mean, why why do we have to be heckled by our own people? That, that's what I. I you know, it's kind of difficult to do the show. But uh, you're right, Bo. The pain threshold. I wouldn't be surprised to see Matt Moore maybe get into the game bec- at certain spots. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you take a big shot, take a and shot. Jay needs to take yeah, a series. No, no question, Matt. Matt's, Matt's still got to be ready. Absolutely, he's still got to be ready yeah. to play in uh, uh, in case because I, I think you are kind of you know that, that's a very very. I mean, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, and one shot. Could you get put him, hit. Could it put doesn't even have to be a big shot. No. If you land the wrong way, yep. if a body lands on top of you, if you're throwing the football, that can be a situation that gets uncomfortable. Where you need a player to, yep. you know, to come off and, and regather your thoughts, regroup a little bit, and then get back into the game. Miami Bird says, "Bo's fired up. Give Bo some pads right now." Well, if you're going to give me some pads, you better give me a contract first. I ain't doing it for free. No, that's for sure. I always told people, I said, look, I've been negotiating with them now for 30 years. They still haven't come around. They still haven't come up. I said, look, I only need $3 million a year to pull a hamstring on the first time down the field. (laughs) (laughs) They haven't haven't come to terms with it yet. I'm not so sure we have Uh, that. Hey, Bo, uh, which team was your Ravens when you played? Uh, What team was our Ravens when we played? Probably the Raiders. Probably the Raiders, yeah. Probably. Always had a tough time. They were always good. Had a miserable time beating the Raiders out in Oakland. That was a tough, tough, tough place to play. That turf is always wet. It's still wet out there. It's the corners. You know, we couldn't figure out. We couldn't. We ne- could never figure out where we're playing. Why the grass was always always damp. wet, always yeah. damp, and the Raiders always knew where Hadn't the dry rained. Sp- Raiders knew where the dry spots were. Lester Hayes knew every dry spot <laughs> on that field was, and he'd kind of plant there and force those guys to run around. And, uh, but it turns out that it's below it's below uh, sea level. The turf is below sea level, so it's always, and, and it's right by the base, so it's always always wet there. Uh, Greg Reed, Facebook. What the heck happened to Tunsil? Uh, I I don't know. You know he he's got to play more consistently. There's times you watch him and he's dominating people. That's right. Other times where they're just kind of running by him, and uh, I, I think he's got to he he's got to get to the point where he plays dominant. He plays dominant. He, you know what? He's strong I, I enough. He's big enough. He's I, quick I enough. I think there's one thing that he's got to do. He's got to believe that he's a dominant guy, and, and I don't think that's kind of. I don't think that's ingrained into him yet that he is a dominant guy that can push people around and, and be a dominant guy in this league. Certainly did it when he was in college. And, and I think when he gets that in his head, I think he's going to be just fine. You know, it's always funny when you have veterans on the offensive line and you look to Mike Pouncey and you look to Bushrod. It almost, it, for me, when I watch him walk around and watch him practice, I almost want to feel like I, I want to whisper to Laramie to say, hey, you know what? You don't need those guys. Yeah. You're the baddest guy yeah, on this offensive right. line. Yep. And you need to walk around and you need to start acting like yep. it and, and let everybody know that you're the baddest yep. man around. It just feels like uh, – you don't want those guys to be gone because they're valuable assets to your offensive line, but you need to get that mentality yep. that I don't need to rely on words of wisdom from I'm those guys. I'm good. Myself. I'm good. Yeah. 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 You know, and I, look, I'd like to see him be a guy that you know, knocks a guy down every now and then. Step on him yeah, a little bit. Stepping on him a little yeah. you know, Don't make it easy on him. Be like the guy from the Ravens, the center from the yeah. Ravens. That was kind of yeah, the guy. Yeah, look, little, that's a, that's that, the guy that caused the whole thing. That's sixty six that, yeah. Jensen, I think is his name. Big long have, hair, right? Yeah, 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 that, big yeah. Fat slob yeah, out there. He's kind of well, Adamian kind of yeah, got him a little yeah, bit after that. Little was bit. nice. Uh, Foshizzi Myrizzi. I don't know if that's a real name or not, but is the reason we can't beat the Ravens is revenge from letting from them letting Camarillo score. <laughs> <laughs> Call. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Mad uh, Dog, that was a great call, what, my what friend. Call? Rich Camarillo. Rich, yeah, Rich Camarillo <laughs> called him. That, but that, that was also the game, I think, that ended uh, uh, Brian Billick's coaching career. Might have. I think, I think the brain so. That's left why he's, the building. That's why he's doing TV now. That's right. Uh, reverse Spider Man. Hey, Bo, uh, what are your thoughts on the Sioux reports? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I Look, I, I think any question about Sioux coming back next year has more to do with his salary cap than. His ability to play. Yes. Because look, oh, I he's don't playing care. really I don't well. care what you say. This, this guy, he, he's, he's going to beat you up every game. He's going to beat he, every He's going to beat somebody up out there. Yeah. He penetrates. He causes problems. And I know as a defensive tackle, sometimes you don't make the tackle, but what you do up front allows, allows somebody else to make the tackle. And, and I, I think people don't see that. Uh, look, if it's my thought, I don't worry about salary cap. That's not my problem. You know, 
So I, I would love to have Sue. I'd love to have him here for the length of his contract. He because plays. you got that. I guarantee you that any offensive lineman that lines up and, and get ready to play the Dolphins, in for a long they're day. looking at that tape, going, "Oh man, this is going to be a long, sixty long minutes, day, long night, man." It's not going to be fifty-eight. No. It's going to be sixty. Yep, no doubt yeah. about it. So I, I don't know. I, I you know, like I said, I think there's a, if there's any question on the Dolphins side, it's a lot less about how he plays and what he does, more so about that that the, the salary cap and, I agree and how you. it may affect him. Uh, Periscope, D. Dalton, nice haircut, Bo. Yeah, I did get my haircut. Yeah, it looks good. Bo. Darren Dalton calls and asks me about my haircut. Nice. Um, Grizzly Dark, Bo, how was the Grey Goose over the weekend? Uh, we had a big Halloween party at the, at the, at the place. Yeah. How would it go? It was good. We had about 10 guys, 11 guys from the team came over. Not, I mean, some staff came over. Some of the crew came over. Oh, nice. The equipment guys, some of the training guys came go. over. They were the ones who were drinking the Grey Goose. I kind of kept it, I kept it on the limit. down low a little bit. I do a little sangria. A little, I went, little sip. I went a little Latin flavor. I did the sangria <laughs> thing, there. but I did a lot of it, you know. So, uh, <laughs> Christopher Dunkley, can we break Leon's ribs to test out the pain <laughs> threshold? Absolutely. I think that so. May be the be- that may be the best one. That you know in. what? Who sent that, that in? Christopher Dunkley. Dunkley. Chris, Excellent yeah, job, smart by man, you. Chris. Let's break Leon's Le- ribs. Just pound, rough on him, him around a little bit, and see how it hurts. Let him go take a crap and Put see how it feels with broken books, ribs. That's right. Yeah, they're laughing when you talk about that. Yeah. You've never had to do that, have you, Leon? Okay. <laughs> I have. Didn't feel good. Well, look at that haircut. Huh? That haircut. You paid for that? He did. Or did they pay? Did you go to the barber? You went to the barber's college, I think. You went to the barber's <laughs> college to get that done? Some guy named Satch? Hey, give, give me that guy. Give me that guy. <laughs> Who's that, Leon? Put him in chair number four. Let me ask you this, Leon. When he start, when he had the clippers in his hand, was his hand like this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Was he, was he a little nervous, a little shaking there? Because it looks oh man, yeah, it's like a it's like a it's title. Jigsaw puzzle. It's like a wave there on the. Uh, all right, last question. So, which Dolphins team shows up this weekend? Uh, Who, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. David Keller from Facebook, uh, but I'm certainly hope it's a team that uh, that this got a little more focus. Uh, I think they're going to be a more rested football team, yeah. and, and I think look if, if you don't if you don't if you don't get out of this week and get out of watching this tapes, that things have to change and things have to change right now, th- then it's going to be a long season from here on in. I think this team is going to be anxious to play again. Yes. I, I think that that zero, that shutout, that, that yeah. whatever happened on Thursday night, it's tough even now. Yeah. But I think they're going to move past that, and they're going to have that in the back of their minds just as a, a little bit of a, a, the stick, you know. Yeah. Can't be like that again. Well, look, look, can't, they can't go back to that again. You know, you, you, you've got to get in your mind that this and – and I think they'll be focused. I think they'll come out fired up, ready to play. And I think we'll get the best out of this football team. Should. Now, the question is, what's the best oh. this football team can give right. us right now? That's the question. But I think they're going to be uh, ready to play and, and, uh, and go out there. But – Look, it's it's, uh, it's funny for me, Bo. This team has not even come close no, to playing no. to their potential. So uh, they, they have the ability to, to – their ability to improve is so vast yep. on, on the offensive side of the ball that I'm just waiting, to, looking forward to the day it comes because then they're going to set the bar yep. and they're going to have a standard to, to come and try to meet each and every and week. Look, the Raiders are a team that's struggling themselves. They're, they're, yep. trying, they're trying to find their own personality. They went up to Buffalo and got it handed to them up in Buffalo. I know they're staying somewhere on the East Coast. Yeah, they're then, in Sarasota or then, somewhere yeah, on the, on and the then, West and Coast And then coming of down here to play. Um, so, you know, uh, the, the Dolphins can't get the, – they, they can't – they can't let the Dol- Dolphins can't let them believe they can win this football game. Right. They got to put the thumb on them early and then keep it well, down there. And- need to play with a lead. Yeah. That's no what doubt. the Dolphins need to do. Hi, Johnny. That's going to do it for the Thanks, game. Thanks, buddy. Man. That was fun. Uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. You- all right. Yeah. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy Halloween. Halloween. I'm looking ahead. I'm already thinking about I was, my, hung- I was getting hungry. I'm already thinking about my Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to cook here. <laughs> you're so. thinking about that sangria. I am. That's no what doubt. You're no about. doubt. All right. All you guys enjoy your Halloween. Leon, don't don't bother buying a mask. You already got one. <laughs> and only candy we like. That's right. Only candy snicker bars in my house. That's it. All right. We're going to see you. Have a good time. We'll be back on Wednesday. Have a good Halloween. We'll see you then.